Look everyone, I'm floating in cyberspace, giving off that nice little illusion that I'm floating off the floor. And right now, I'm going to make a video response towards this gothic chick. Ugh. I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. So, I wanted to talk to you about feminism. <laughs> And more importantly, what comes into my mind when people say that they're not a feminist? Because it can go one of two ways, okay? Sometimes I feel like I want to reassure people, especially men when they say they're not feminists, I want to say, look, look, you've got it all wrong, okay? Feminism is not about hating men. It's not about wanting to oppress men at the expense of... No. Yeah, it's not wanting to oppress men. It, you know, and feminism's about men too. Look, I've seen enough feminist videos where this is going, and quite frankly, this is getting old. For fuck's sakes, I've been making way too many videos on feminists like yourself. Every time a feminist tells me if feminism is not about man-hating, I just show them the hypocrisy of the feminist movement. However, my words will always fall into deaf ears because outside voices are not welcome within the feminist community. And chances are, even if I make a video on you and somehow you respond to me in the comment section, chances are you're going to label me as a misinformed person or even a misogynistic asshole and you're not going to defend yourself. And I want to tell them that feminists do care that men get less paternity leave and rights over their children. The irony is is that feminists don't protest about that. But you do know what they do protest about? The debunk wage gap myth! I want to tell them that women do care that the suicide rate for men is fucking sky high. You know, and it's awful. I want to tell them that feminists are bothered about gender roles in children and how boys are taught not to cry. No, oh, for fuck's sakes, I seen grown men cry. Where the fuck do you people keep getting this information where men can't cry? I want to tell them all that. And I feel quite sympathetic towards them. You know? I mean, they felt pushed out, they felt excluded, they felt that this movement for equality is not for them, when in actual fact, feminism is for everyone. Unless, of course, you're a cisgender white man, then go fuck yourselves, you sick son of a bitch! And I just want to open my arms wide and welcome them in and say, hey, it is for you, you're invited. And I decline gracefully, not because I don't like getting hugs from got chicks, I really would like one. But, um, the reason why I have to decline is because I don't want to be a part of your stupid hive mind. But then other times, like today, I just feel angry at people who say they're not feminists. I feel that everyone these days should know what feminism is. They should know that feminism is nothing more them wanting the sexes to be equal. Too bad people aren't total morons! <laughs> you know? In wanting the sexes to have equal rights in the eyes of the law, and when it comes to inheritance, etc, etc. Because feminism is a buzzword lately. Beyonce's talking about it. Taylor Swift is talking about it. Emma Watson is talking about it. You can't turn on the news or even go onto Facebook without something about gender and feminism making headlines. Whether it's from something as small as Robin Thicke's blurred lines to something as huge as female genital mutilation or banning the burqa. Feminism is everywhere. And so, if you say you're not a feminist, there's only two kind of possibilities. You're either a sexist and therefore a fucking awful person and a scumbag, or you're just ignorant. You've not bothered to educate yourself when all the resources are there, right in front of you. You see this sort of mentality we are seeing, it's like there is no other option out there. But funny thing is that I'm an egalitarianist and not a feminist. 
you have to understand that feminism doesn't own the concept of equality. If you are for equality, then you are closer to being either a humanist or an egalitarianist. And plus, I already have educated myself on feminism through years of experience. And so far, all we see from feminists is that they're racist and sexist bigots. They don't want to admit it, but it's true. And they use such flaw ideas that they are so outdated, you might as well just join the KKK. Sure, they hate blacks, but at least they're honest about it. How different they are, actually, because I've been practicing 35 years. I mean, I, as a feminist, I believe in legal, social, political, and economic equality for women with men. I often say, if you're not a feminist, then you're a bigot. I mean, there is nothing in between. It's like being pregnant. You either are pregnant or you're not. So both of those things are not okay. <laughs> Someone that is just ignorant that sexism exists is no better than the upper middle class white person that sits in their mansion with their staff and says, oh, I don't think racism is a problem in this country. Says the middle class white woman. And everyone else, especially people of colour, just face palm in unison because, of course, racism is a problem in this country. And it's not the job of people of colour to educate white, ignorant people about racism, about racial oppression and institutional racism. It, it's not the job of people of colour to educate white people about that. We need to educate ourselves. The funny thing is, though, is that you're not going to educate yourself when it comes to things like, oh, geez, I don't know, the wage gap myth, reverse racism, reverse sexism, the one in five myth on how women are being portrayed in media, you know, stuff like that. You could say that I'm just repeating myself, but then again, I am responding to your typical everyday feminist video. And likewise, it's not the job of women to educate men about sexism. It's not my job. It's not fucking Beyonce's job. It's not Emma Watson's job. It's your job. You have a responsibility, not just for the sake of your mothers, and your sisters, and your girlfriends, and your female friends, but you have a responsibility for yourself as a decent, moral human being. Well, I'm already a decent human being without feminism, and I already made countless amount of videos destroying the feminist community. But if it's not your job to educate people on how feminism is all oh, good in the neighborhood, then why bother even making videos at all? To educate yourself about feminism i.e. gender equality. And don't tell me that you believe in equal rights, but you just don't like the word feminism. Who gives a flying fuck if you don't like the word? Except people are not too stupid to judge a entire fucking movement based solely on a fucking word. It's a word. Why sit and argue about semantics? when girls are getting their fucking genitals hacked off. The funny thing is, is that baby males are having their penis mutilated against their will. But you're not going to say shit about it. And I doubt that women are having their genitalia mutilated in the USA. But if this is a third world country, my question is to you is how is feminism going to help? By what? Writing a Tumblr blog? When they're getting gang raped. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? about lexicon then nobody except you sitting there in your fucking pedantic little hut cackling because you were right and and maybe feminism is a bad world well no i'm fucking sorry i'm not gonna like campaign for this movement to be called the egalitarian movement no i'm not gonna sugarcoat things because apparently egalitarianists are so goddamn heartless that they don't really care if a woman gets raped. At all. I don't give a fuck if you don't like the term feminism. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's a word. You can call it whatever the fuck you like. It's gender equality. Because dictionary! Seriously, how many feminists have used the dictionary in order to justify feminism? And if you don't believe in gender equality, then you're a prick. And if you aren't actively standing up 
and speaking out for the rights of women? Every day, even little things like when a woman is talked over in the boardroom, or when she's patronised, or when she's catcalled, or when she's touched inappropriately at work, if you don't stand up and stop that, if you don't call out your friends on their banter when they're joking about rape, then you were part of the problem. Well, sexual assault is one thing. Yes, I will call that person out for sexually assaulting someone. But if the person is just making rape jokes towards one another, or just simply catcalling, then, well, there's not much of an issue there, isn't it? You know, everyone says Hitler's so bad because he killed so many people, and yet yeah, he was so bad. But do you know who else was bad? The people that sat back and let it happen. The people that went along with it. Keep in mind that the reason World War II has started is because Germany was completely oppressed by other nations. The only people that oppose this ideology is, well, United States. In a weird twisted way, I'm kind of thankful that Adolf came into power because if it wasn't for World War II, America would still have to deal with a stock market crash of 1929. Sure, what Adolf did was wrong, and he's a bad man, but this could have been prevented if Germany was never oppressed in the first place. Because if you say that you're not a feminist, you're literally sticking two fingers up at the fact that in this country, in the United Kingdom, this first world, privileged country, one in five women will be the victim of a sexual assault in their lifetime. And we already have debunked this shit a thousand fucking times, but people like yourself still shove your heads up your own ass. And one in four women will be a victim of domestic violence. Look, I'm just going to leave a couple of links in the description to show you how wrong you are. Quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of repeating myself over and over again, and quite frankly, it's about damn time you take your own damn advice. Look at the links, then come back to me with your answers. Seriously, this argument is overused and needs to stop. If you don't believe in feminism, you're saying that you don't care, that every week, two women are killed by a current or former partner. No, by stating that you are not a feminist, you are saying that you are not a feminist. And the major reasons why you are not a feminist is because feminism is hypocritical and absolute bullshit. And that one in five women and girls has an eating disorder. Okay, you know I can use the exact same logic as you are using right now. If you're not an MRA, you are saying that you don't care if men are more likely to commit suicide. Because you're not an MRA, you're saying it doesn't matter if men get drafted to war against their will, nor do you care about male babies getting their penis mutilated. By stating that you are not an MRA, you cannot be a decent human being because you don't care about men. Do you see how I can turn this around quickly? You're shrugging your shoulders at the fact that all across the world, children as young as seven, as young as five, are being married off to 70-year-old men who will rape them and probably beat them and basically keep them as slaves. And once again, I have to point out, what is feminism going to do about it? The answer is absolutely fucking nothing. You're saying that you don't care. That in countries hand in hand with the US, like, oh... Saudi Arabia. Women are not allowed to drive or leave the house without a male relative. These are countries that are literally hand in hand with the US. And we don't care. Well, people that aren't feminists don't care. Because for some odd reason, in order to care and act like a decent human being, we have to become a feminist! Oh, sorry, you're not allowed to care because, you see, you're not a feminist, and only feminists care about third world problems. Go back to your man cave where you get to beat up your virtual wife, you misogynistic pig. We're trying to make progress! Now, let's see if we can stop the manspreading. Because he gives a fuck about women, right? People have it easy. Women are equal to men. Don't make me fucking laugh. Women are not equal to men. 
and we're supposed to believe you because you have a vagina between your legs. When a woman is asked to justify why she was wearing a short skirt or why she was intoxicated on the night of her rape, that is not equality. And like I stated before, name one court case where the rapist got excused because the woman was either drunk or what she was wearing. Name one. It's not equality that hundreds and thousands of women every year are trafficked across borders and forced to work as sex slaves in brothels and massage parlours and on street corners. That is not equality. And it's not fucking equality when there is a female Secretary of State who is running for president and she's asked what fashion designers she likes in, you know, in, in the run-up to elections, she's asked what fashion designers she likes. Oh, the horror of random questions? Debates are had about Hillary Clinton's haircut and her cleavage and her shoes. Sarah Palin as well. No one talks about their policies, or if they do, they talk about what they fucking look like first. They talk about PMS and how they're boner killers and ball breakers and how they've got nagging voices. Does that sound like equality to you? Well, I hate to break it to you, but there's a reason why people don't like Hillary Clinton or Sarah Palin, and it has nothing to do with what they wear. Because it doesn't sound like it to me. And it doesn't sound like it to the millions of women all around the world who are getting beaten and tortured and raped and silenced and used as war booty and a whole fucking range of things. But you know what? When you stand up and publicly denounce a movement that is all about gender equality, you're at best trivialising and ignoring that. Holy fuck is this wrong? And at worst, you're condoning it. You're even supporting it. So, are you a feminist? Because I am. And I'm not going to apologise for being angry. I know that misogynists of the internet are going to crawl out of the woodwork and throw insults at me and try and debate with me because that's what these people do but you know what i'm not having the debate so you admit you don't want to defend your position well isn't that great fuck being a reasonable human being you just speak out your mind and ignore all forms of evidence to prove you wrong because you know you are right and because you say so you know that these people will only throw nothing more than just insults at you because there is no logical reason to oppose feminism because feminism means equality and not being one is like saying you don't want equality despite the fact that there are people out there who call themselves Italians Arianists but they don't really care about equality they're just posers trying to act cool and hip because if you do not see yourself as someone on my side and on the side of gender equality, then your opinion is irrelevant. So it doesn't matter if your opinion is reasonable and logical, if you're not a feminist, then, well, guess what? She's not going to acknowledge you. Because it's just wrong. And yeah, you know what? There is such a thing as having an opinion that's wrong. If your opinion is reprehensible, if it's sexist or racist or classist, or anything like that, then no, I am not obligated to align myself with you and to interact with you and to listen to you. Well, my video is nowhere near misogynistic, nor racist or classist. So does this mean, are you going to at least talk to me? Well, if you are, then it would be nice for a female feminist to at least look at the opposing team's points. But like you stated before, you're not going to debate with me, nor are you going to listen to any points that I've made. All you're going to do is label me misogynistic for daring to speak up against feminism ideologies that are flawed. And what is this means is that this feminist community doesn't want to be reasonable. They want to invade people's safe spaces and tell them they need to convert to your religion in order to be safe in the name of equality. Sorry, but there's no way I can support feminism if it means that I have to avoid any forms of criticism at all costs. <clears throat> and call anyone bigots who dare speak out against me. 
I for one do not fear criticism, nor do I fear to criticize and get backlash for doing so, because unlike you, I'm reasonable. I'm willing to debate on Google Hangouts. So if you actually watched this video, I do hope that this video shed some light. I want you to prove me wrong by at least trying to defend yourself. And who knows, you might actually make me into a feminist. I'm not, so. Fuck you and see ya.